looking at more to dine out. Benton town leaders are proposing a meals tax increase. The extra money will be used to fund several projects in the town if it passes. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones joins us now live in Benton. So Arisha, uh, how much of an increase could people see on their next restaurant bill in the coming months? Well, the proposal calls for restaurants to charge an extra 1% for the meals tax increase. That means it will go from 5% to 6% August 1st. The Dogwood restaurant is usually one of the busiest in Benton, but that doesn't plan to change with a meals tax increase. The proposal is the first in more than 10 years. Treasurer and Finance Director Ann Cottrell says it will help to increase revenue sources for capital improvement needs. We have total identified needs of 2.4 million in the general fund. So the increase in meals tax would only be about 260,000 a year. So even with that, we still have several needs that wouldn't be funded. Some of the items staff is recommending to be funded with the increase include more computers for the police department, replacing salt spreaders for public works, gateway entrance signs, and Garth Wright Bridge maintenance. The town, when it hit the recession, we kind of backed off on some of our capital replacement. And now that we're getting into an aged equipment, something that should have been replaced at year seven is now getting to year 13 or 14. Paul St. Clair is the general manager at Ben Appliance Center. He says the increase won't change how much he goes out to eat with his family. Anything changes. Gas goes up, milk goes up, and now our taxes going to go up. And, you know, in this small town, we definitely need the help with the taxes. Going up from 5 to 6 percent would keep the rate similar to surrounding cities and towns. Roanoke City is 5.5 percent, Salem 6 percent, Rocky Mount 5 percent, and Christiansburg 7.5 percent. There will be a public hearing on the proposal next month. The town plans to notify any restaurant owners so they can attend, so they can voice their concerns with council. Live in Benton, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.